Okay, this is the Kensington Palace. It's only drama people staying here, and my brother. Join me. <laughs> this is the kitchen. A lot of the guys didn't have no money to stay at a hostel or something. And this house I got when I was 11 years old. Years old. My grandfather, I won a kickboxing match and he changed his will and said, nah, you're gonna have this house. So it's been standing here the whole time after he died. So I just thought, now nah, we're all chasing the same dream, same vision. He even also won in South Africa's best up and coming players. And I mean, I feel I was destined to do something more in this world. I will change the world. So I just invited them all. Uh, you can my come crash here. I took them under my wing. And to play here, let no dar in the ice. <laughs> yeah, now we're all staying here. But it's cool. I'm in a lot of debt, but it's okay. <laughs> I like to party <laughs> and like people sometimes when I'm in a people mood and I like drama I love reading I like writing I love poetry I love writing poetry <laughs> and one day I would like to write my own scripts for theater I love the performing arts theater so anything to do with me being on stage with a mic and a an audience of about 50 million. Yeah, then you got me, baby. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I don't know, that's actually a difficult question, you know, that I am um, not a very materialistic person. But I do love clothes and shoes and handbags and jewelry. <laughs> we were part of the ITMSA, which is the Independent Theatre Movement of South Africa. And that is a training college come drama company like a theater company as well so they train us as well as try and grow us into being able to work within the company at least that's what is the plan how is it to be me it's voluptuous it's beautiful it's pretty it's upsetting it's maddening it's crazy it's rude my name is Tori Jenkins I'm the artistic director of the independent theater movement of South Africa Welcome to Tagore's. Um, my name is Tori Jenkins. People who will be with me um, this evening are all our graduated students. We, we talk about the demystification of Shakespeare. The way that language, Shakespeare and the Greeks have been used by the elite and are often used in, in a way in the theatre community that sometimes does not allow actors um, from the community to, to embrace this language. No longer mourn for me when I am dead, then you shall hear the silly son and bell. Devon into the world that I am fled from this vile world with violence worms to dwell. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Especially those first, those last like 10 or 5 seconds before I have to go on stage. Yo, those are the worst. Sure. It's this whole blood rush and you know, it's, your heart just starts pounding inside of your chest. <laughs> You know, and you can feel it, your whole body goes, you feel it by your neck and everywhere, so, so, yeah, I might, I might, I'm nervous now, but later, <laughs> later we, uh, but. The most arch deed of pettiest massacre that ever yet this land was guilty of. And for us, whom I did support to do this piece of ruthless butchery, will be they will flesh it with its bloody dogs! But when you're finished, then you only feel the excitement. Then you don't have, you actually don't want to go off stage. Then you just want to stay there. 
Preferably, I'd like to go to the head of Hollywood's office, twist his mind, so we can start telling African stories on a bigger scale, because the whole world has been built on Africa. And the whole time, African stories are being told by foreign people. And we're here, we're capable and we're willing. You know? That's what I'd like to call next. My dream. I don't feel like I want to push myself to one direction to have one dream. I want to just, you know, the sky's the limit. I'm young. I mean, I'm freaking 21. I have years and years. You never retire from acting. You retire when you die. And even then, you know, so, yeah, I don't actually have a dream. I just, whatever comes my way, I'm going to take. Lori Burke put her heart into the same sort of scene of Burke with a beam to rack a war growth was a good bra. I think the high prices of the universities is a criminal injustice. Courses in drama range from about thirty-five to sixty thousand rand a year. What it does is that it prevents people from our communities, especially from the black and coloured and mixed race communities who have an historical disadvantage to access learning at a higher level. Um, to to access uh, any form of academic um, understanding or, or, or learning at a high level um, when it comes to the arts. Yeah. So give more of it. Give more of it. I like it when 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 there's that contrast. On a successful institution is one that has a big white student population that are willing to pay exorbitant fees. That's the criteria. If you if if you have that in your institution then it's assumed that you're a good institution. Like, well, what's your, your aims here? Do you like well, winner? obviously to become famous. <laughs> you know, I just want to do what I love. Yeah. I just want to do what I love, that's the whole point for me. You know, learn more about what I love to do, obviously. Because I could have studied anything else I wanted to, but I'm here and I don't want to be anywhere else. My parents are paying for me, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm just basically trying to get my creative outlets in these three years while enjoying myself. I don't really care about the the whole diploma or whatever. I may be straight, though they themselves be devil. By their rank thoughts, my deeds must not be shown. Unless this general evil they maintain, all men are bad and in their badness reign. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to tell the story about how some of the stuff, like the crimes in South Africa, affects people. Not the statistics but how it really affects a household that person like um, my sister for instance was right a few months ago and so the stories that can come out there to let the people know that this is real and this is how it's happening it's like it affected her it affected the whole family and just the ugliness of it sometimes, but also there's a beautiful side of South Africa, but I just feel it's important to tell these stories about people's own personal stories, not the statistics that they tell you every three minutes a woman gets raped and all that stuff, but how it happens, when it happens, who it affects, how it affects them, and how it destroys everything sometimes. But I'm going to win the lottery, and it's going to go quick now. Mm. I just thought no, I think that's a good idea. I mean, if we're gonna do this for the rest of our lives, so why not? Why go work in a call center or a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people do these things. The reason I started this because we had one vision. Becoming the masters of our destiny in the theater. 
Kom zelf van MC met flow en wie skat flow en wie zijn fans lijn ze slow. Wie zijn man van de fan time? Let's another song baby, I was so wanna sing. Alweer dwars als sy panna halve pijt Entertain fake vrinne in die rond te kruip Fok fijn braads en my keer in die release Is a blaai en a pen en a sak vol beats Vat alweer nie kop toe nie is alweer eie wees Maak jou eie graf bra, hang jou eie bleri kruis Nog fijn vrou, mens en geld Toe die gefriet, rugstiek, eindig ook net op een geweld Wat sê wil jy hoor, het is alweer binnen in die glas Hou aan perform, wees die vrinne as die dwaas Wil jy stil sit, die kan nie praat, die is wel raas En kan ook nie stop die, want die wijn is jou baas Die goeie mense begin al vir hulle te vereer Want sy dink is lekker om ou mense te teer Hou jou groot maan en waarheid het dit weer heel bezig om jou eie naam en modderheid te keer Van amal het a weakness van a sickness raak 